What's going on? We back. Motor City Sports Talk. We in the building. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. If you haven't already, hit the bell icon. Won't miss another Motor City Sports Talk video. All right, it's your boy CJ Goodfella. And I seen one of my friends that's a Chicago Bear fan. You know, it's a lot of hate for the for the Packers going that way in our way. And, uh, you know, uh, it looked like Aaron Rodgers had thrown seven picks um, in the first few days of camp. And uh, some people are making it out of make it out to be a big deal. Uh, we know last year he came back from um, the collarbone injury and tried to salvage the Packers season and end up shutting them back down. And, um, yeah, he wasn't the same player. And I wouldn't expect him to be the same player. But he threw three picks today and three uh, uh, the other day, and he threw another one. Um, rookie Jair Alexander, who I really, really liked in the draft, picked him off. High Clinton Dix picked him off twice. And um, is it any cause for concern that he's slipping at the age of 34? He's another guy talking about he wants to play to the age of 40. And with these new helmet to helmet rules that the NFL got, it's possibly these quarterbacks can play today 50. But ultimately, um, bodies break down from the grind. You know, legs go. The legs are the base of the power, the throwing power. That's how they get a lot of power. But, um, you know, I know a lot of people rejoicing that it seems like uh, Rodgers is regressing. But, Maybe just cranking it up, you know, it happens, you know. And in the article, I'm going to link to the description describing uh, the three picks for today. Um, just saying, you know, maybe the Green Bay Packers defense got better. So that is a possibility, but um, it ain't nothing in no time. It ain't making me, you know, happy or nothing like that. I know it's early in camp, and sometimes you got to warm the car up for it to ride the way it's supposed to ride, especially when Aaron Rodgers is 34 years old. So I don't I don't see it as a as a as – a, as a cause for concern for Green Bay or a glimmer of life for us. I just, you know, as a Lion fan, I just want to beat Green Bay while they're at their best. You know, I want to knock Rodgers off that pedestal because it was far of Nas Rodgers. And it's, you know, just want to knock him off white hot. I want him to be at his best, period. And, um, you know, at 34, is it, you know, it's all cause of concern for Packer fans that it's a sign of slippage? It's too early to tell. You know, he is coming off an injury, so that's, that's something, that's something that they can actually be worried about. You know, they bought Deshaun Kaiser in, who I thought was made look made to look worse than what he was with the uh, Cleveland Browns. But, like I said, this one, it wasn't nothing I'd worry about if I'm a Packer fan. It's just it's strange that he throws seven picks this early in the season coming off an injury um, last year. And he looked terrible at the end of last year when he came off the injury. So, it is some type of cause for concern, but R-E-L-A-X, relax. That's what Aaron Rodgers say. Um, but, um, you know, some of the picks they described just sound terrible. I didn't know Randall Cobb was healthy for, for camp, but he is. I know he had ankle surgery. I know Mike Neal got knocked out, according to this article. Wasn't a serious leg injury. So, Mike Neal is huge to that pass, especially with Muhammad Wilkerson. But, um, but yeah, it's early in camp. I seen, I seen one play, um, uh, where Richard Sherman got burned by Marquise Goodwin. Sherman coming off Achilles injury, all right? And people going, oh, look at Sherman. He lost... At the end of the day, a Marquise Goodwin probably wants like a 4 2 or early uh, or early 4 3. It's sp- in one on one drills, let me tell you this one on one drills, it's expected for the offense to win. There's no pass rush, there's no safety over the top. That's a lot of field to cover one guy on. You know what I'm saying? So I don't I don't get into the one on one passing drills, man. That's all designed for the offense to look good. So, you know, just some of the things I want to drop here, but. Apparently Rogers was was on seven or sevens or under the center with pads on. He throwing picks left and right. Um, so I mean I'm not. It's too early in camp to judge anything. Like I said earlier with the carry on Johnson thing. Um, yesterday I said you know it, it would be disturbing if Johnson couldn't beat out the Eretic for a running back rotational spot. I think it would be a waste of a pick. But it's still early. It's too early. Camp battles ain't won in July. Camp battles is least run after you know the third preseason game. So. You know, if I'm a Packer fan, which I never will be a Packer fan, um, I wouldn't worry about it right now. If I'm a Bears, Vikings, Lions fan, I'm encouraged. But ultimately, you want to get robbed. You want to knock the king off his throne. And uh, last year they wasn't the king because he wasn't there. But um, it could be a product of an injury. You know, he could be he could be still injured. He could that collarbone is funny, and he could be falling off his rocker. You know, real talk. You know, he could be getting out of his prime, but it's too early to tell. It's Motor City Sports Talk. Don't forget to uh, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. All the links and usernames are in the description. Appreciate everybody for watching. Let me know what y'all think about this. I'll link an article to the description describing um, interceptions and Mike Neal injury as well. What y'all think, Lions Nation, One Pride Nation? We got on.